Do you know you can track three time zones with your GMT watch? The GMT watch is often called watches in a watch. It's pretty powerful if you know how to use it. But it can be confusing to start with. We'll cover the many ways you can use your GMT watch, even as a compass. Stay till the end for how to do it. In this video, we'll outline three methods of using the GMT function on a caller's GMT, such as the Seiko SSK series. We will use our GMT Diver and the Seiko SSK003 as demonstration. The movement inside is the same for R34 or NH34. Therefore, the function across the two watches are the same. You can use these methods with a traveler's GMT as well, but we won't go into details with that. Before all else, let's set the GMT hand to the same time zone as the hour hand. That'll allow us to make the subsequent changes easier. First, turn the bezel to its zero position. That is, the triangle should be at the 12 o'clock. Then pull out the crown by one click to the second position. Turn the crown clockwise to set the GMT hand to the current time. The GMT hand is a 24 hour hand, and the conversion is simple. AM time stays the same, PM time just adds 12 to the current hour. It's 4 PM here, so I need to set the GMT hand to 16. Now that the GMT hand and the hour hand are in the same time zone, we're ready to set the GMT hand to a new time zone. Let's start with the simplest use case, tracking two time zones. For the sake of simplicity, let's assume we're living in London, so our time zone is GMT 0. And the time in London is always 4 PM. The first use case of a GMT is to track a foreign time. There are two ways to do it. Let's say my girlfriend lives in Tokyo, Japan, and I want to track her local time so that I know when to call her. Tokyo's time zone is plus nine. So what I need to do is to quick set the GMT hand ahead. Now I can see that Tokyo time is 1 a.m. while London time is 4 p.m. Not a good time to call her. The second way to track foreign time is done with the bezel. We'll start again with both hands in the same time zone. This time, we'll turn the bezel instead. Remember, we want to set it to plus 9 hours ahead. So we'll turn the bezel so that the plus 9 lands on the triangle at the top. You'll see that we land in the same conclusion, 1 a.m. in Tokyo. But sometimes you'll be on the go and you'll need to change the local time zone frequently. With a traveler's GMT, that's easy. But it's not much different with a caller's GMT. Let's say I'm traveling from London to Tokyo to meet up with my girlfriend. Again, two ways to do it. Let's do the easy way first. For this method, you don't even need to start off with both hands in the same time zone. As the plane is about to land, you'll hear the pilot say something along the lines of, Local time now is 1 a.m. We'll then set it so that the GMT hand indicates this local time, either by directly setting the GMT hand or turning the bezel. This way, your main hour hand indicates home time, which is London time. And the GMT hand indicates the local time, which is Tokyo time now. When I fly to another city, I just repeat the same change when I hear the local time from the pilot. Pretty simple. But I might prefer reading off the main hour hand for the local time. After all, that's the more intuitive way of reading time. For this, you need to start with both hands in the same time zone. Then as you learn the local time before you land, you change the main hands to indicate local time. Let's say we're about to land and the pilot informs us that the local time is 1 a.m. I'll set the main hour hands to 1 a.m. For home time, which is London time, it is now nine hours behind Tokyo time. So we'll turn the bezel so that the negative nine hour, that is 15, lands on the triangle. We use the bezel because we can keep both hands in the same time zone. When you move from place to place, you simply adjust the bezel to indicate home time. That brings us to the scenario where you need to track three time zones. Let's say, after visiting my girlfriend in Tokyo, I head over to Paris for a business meeting. Now while I keep track of the local time, I want to know London time and Tokyo time as well. With a chapter ring that indicates 24 hours, it is easy to do so. First, set the main hour hand to the local time, then set the GMT hand to the first time zone you want to track. Then set the bezel to the second time zone. 
put into context, I've just landed in Paris. Local time is 6 p.m. So I set the main hands to that. Next, I want to track London time. London time is two hours behind Paris, so I'll set the GMT hand to two hours behind, which is 1600. Then I'll track Tokyo time with a bezel. Remember that Tokyo is plus nine hours ahead. I'll turn the bezel so that plus nine lands on the triangle. So now we have all time zones in one glance. Paris is 6 p.m., 4 p.m. in London, and 1 a.m. in Tokyo. Sweet. Does that mean without a 24 hour chaptering, you cannot track more than two time zones? Well, it's actually possible, but it just takes a bit more steps. Once you have the main hands on the local time and GMT hands on the first time zone, you can move the bezel to whatever time zone to check that time. Once you're done, return the bezel to neutral position and you're back to the first time zone. It's not as elegant as having a 24 hour chaptering, but it works in a pinch. Is that all you can do with a GMT watch? Well, there's more. Two extra functions for you. First one is simple. Use the bezel as a countdown bezel, just like with a diver watch. Turn the bezel so that the triangle points to a point in the future where you want to count down. Say you want to count 10 minutes. Just turn it so that the triangle points at the current time plus 10 minutes. That's it. The second trick is interesting. You can use it as a compass. You'll need to be able to see the sun or its position. Set the hour hand and GMT hand to the same time zone at your local time. Point the hour hand directly towards the sun and your GMT hand will be pointing north. Voila! Your GMT hand is also a compass now. This is how I call using your caller's GMT watch to the fullest. Good not having to wear multiple watches on my wrist. This has been a DIY Watch Club guide. Subscribe if you find it useful, it helps us tremendously. So until next time, have fun with your watch.